So with the first season of The Acolyte coming to a close, let's see if Leslie Headland and some of these so-called Star Wars fans can convince us why The Acolyte needs a second season, shall we? I mean, it's only been 24 hours since The Acolyte ended, and it ended with a whimper, in my opinion. But I found this over at MovieWeb. The Acolyte fans fight back against Star Wars haters. Oh, I guess I'm a Star Wars hater now. As hashtag renew the Acolyte trends. This is from Jonathan Budge? Boog? I don't know. I pronounce, mispronounce names all the time. So sorry, Jonathan, if I mispronounced your last name. Fans launch a hashtag renew the Acolyte campaign to support the show's world building characters, lightsaber fights, and rich story. Rich story. The story was all over the place. We had the protagonist, the antagonist. They pulled a parent trap and switched. Then they pulled a parent trap and switched back. Then they pulled a parent trap and switched again. Audiences praise performances of Amanda Stenberg and Manny Jacinto, calling them a driving force for new fans in the Star Wars universe. Uh, Amanda Stenberg, who played the protagonist, Osha, and the antagonist, May, and never changed her facial expressions? Not to mention, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Asian, um, um, yeah. His name escapes me right now. Asian Ezra Miller. That's who, Asian Ezra Miller. Who, I don't know, he was okay, I guess. Despite review bombing, critics and some fans see potential in the Acolyte, hoping for renewal and creator Leslie Headland aims for three seasons? Three? Really? I don't know about that. Three. No. Please. And as far as the review bombing goes... I guess writing a review how you don't like the show is review bombing a show. Um, no. People just didn't like what was put out. This was fan fiction. The, these people had no idea of Star Wars lore, backstories. They undid a lot of what, a lot of what George Lucas had already done. They took what George Lucas wrote and laid out and said, no. Nope, out of here. So despite the major review bombing campaign that has plighted the latest Star Wars series, The Acolyte, it seems there are just as many fans who want to see the show continue as wanted to see it end before it even had begun. That was a tongue twister. A new positive campaign has now launched with hashtag renew the Acolyte now trending over on X. Fans have taken to social media to call for the Disney Plus series to be renewed for a second season with many eager for more from the Star Wars franchise's High Republic era. Let's uh, look at some of these posts, shall we? Hashtag Renew the Acolyte. This show has done some of the most impressive world building, complex character moments, phenomenal lightsaber choreography, and a rich story that needs to be expanded upon. Um, world building? No. Character moments? If you want to steal from the parent trap, okay. Lightsaber choreography? Uh, what about that last lightsaber duel? Where they entered the Matrix slow-mo into it? I don't think so. That's not Star Wars. And a rich story that needs to be expanded upon. Ugh. Disney should hashtag renew the acolyte and embrace that the haters are no longer their target audience. New stories with new characters are more sustainable, but not if you cancel them just after just one season. 
we're not haters. Okay? We don't like the show. We think the show is is um taking George Lucas's creation and cutting it up, tearing its heart out, stomping on it, whatever you want to call it. You're part of the 14% that likes it? Good for you. I'm part of the 86% that doesn't like it. So there. Hashtag renew the acolyte. The show single-handedly revived the new gen Star Wars fandom that was murdered to death after 2019. There's already a strong and valid reason to renew it. No, there's not. Hashtag renew the acolyte because we need more scenes like this. I love seeing all the Jedi fight scenes. Please, there's so much story to tell. The main reason why many Star Wars fans want to see the show continue is thanks to the performances and chemistry between Amanda Stenberg and Manny Giacchino. With audiences de desperate to see them continue to light up the small screen and see their story evolve further. One fan even credited the pair for bringing so many new fans to the Star Wars universe. I've never seen such a passionate fandom for a new Star Wars story in a very long time. No, the fandom does not want any more of this. The true fans that have been there for the original three movies, the original trilogy, the prequels. And then those of us that look at Disney Lucasfilm and their trilogy and go, Amanda Stenberg is such an amazing actress. The way she handles dialogue and emotes through her eyes is beautiful. She didn't emote through her eyes. Her facial expressions never changed. I love watching her and I hope she knows she's giving us a brilliant performance. Yeah, she should win an Emmy for lack of facial expression. Bring these soulmates back to me. I cannot do with only eight episodes of this show. Yeah, I'm sure you watched all eight episodes. Renew the Acolyte or hashtag renew the Acolyte for them. I need to see their beautiful faces again in season two. Disney needs to renew the Acolyte so I can keep watching them be pretty together. According to MovieWeb, The Acolyte has been the latest target of review bombers, with the series now sitting at just 14% from audience on the review aggregator site Rotten Tomatoes and just 3.5 out of 10 stars at IMDb. Critics, however, has responded to the show very differently. Yeah, because it aligns with what they believe in. Achieving a rating of 80% on Rotten Tomatoes and the consensus reading, taking fresh risks with Star Wars lore while... Having infectious fun playing with the stylistic trappings of the galaxy far, far away, the Acolyte is a Padawan series with the potential to become a master. Some fans have addressed the naysayers directly with their calls to hashtag renew the Acolyte. You guys, they even lost Grace Randolph. She turned on this show after episode seven. Now, I haven't seen anything new from her posted lately. But where they really missed a big opportunity is, is you had two episodes that were nothing but flashbacks. Where instead of doing two entire episodes of nothing but flashbacks, you intersper intersperse flashbacks throughout the series. Then you could also include Darth Plagueis and Yoda. Sprinkle them in throughout the series. But no, what'd you do instead? You did two entire episodes of flashbacks. So you had eight, actually six episodes to tell a story in the quote modern day, 16 years after the events happened. And we get a sneak peek at Darth Plagueis, who was hanging out in a cave lurking the entire series. I mean, was he in another room in the cave that nobody bothered to look in? 
And then you have the final scene where uh, Vernesta walks in and you see the back of Yoda's head and says, Master, we need to talk. It is currently unknown whether the Acolyte will be renewed for a second season. If it would have been renewed, we would have known it by now. And if Disney does renew this and wants to burn more cash, hey, Disney, throw some of that cash my way, please. I'll gladly take it. If you want to burn cash. And things are currently up in the air. However, creator and showrunner and former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, Leslie Headland has revealed that she would like to see the show continue for at least three seasons. Speaking with Clyder recently, she said, at least three, at least. I mean, I'd love to keep doing it forever. This is my dream job. I'm saying three because I'm hoping they'll allow me to do that, but if I could snap my fingers, it would just be, this is my job until I retire. I actually can't think of a higher creative or career peak than working on Star Wars. So I really am good. I don't really need to do anything else. So there you have it. Out of the 14% of the fan base that actually likes this show, they, they want a second season. I mean, the only reason why I would want a second season is so I can make more videos about the Acolyte. That's why I would want a second season. Otherwise, no, Star Wars, Star Wars is dead. RIP. In fact, go over to Film Threat and catch their live stream later today. Might even be going on now. With their, uh, with their, uh, what do you want to call it? Their, their wake for Star Wars, their funeral for Star Wars. Cause Star Wars, as I know it, doesn't exist anymore. So what do you guys think? You think Star Wars deserves a second season? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, share this video out there with your friends and family, and with that, I will see you guys later.